You're listening to CFRO 1027 FM. It's about 11.36. My name's Doug Lang, and this is Better Days, Episode 50, A Little Bit of Rain. Well, I visited Val at her Aunt Janine's house every day after that on Val's invitation. Janine was great, a lot of fun, so alive, natural, understanding. Trey was a bit suspicious of me at first, as if I'd come to battle with him for his lovely mother's attention. But after we played catch with a baseball in the yard and I showed him how to spin a curveball properly, well, he warmed up a notch anyway. One day when Val was at work, I picked Trey up and we packed a satchel of food and took an hour's drive up to Carlsbad Caverns National Park, where we hiked and took in a couple of the historic sites up there. Trey was a lot of fun but he'd catch himself and pull back a little. And I didn't press it. We were just a couple guys up in the hills for the day having a picnic. One with gray whiskers growing out of his cheeks and one with no whiskers yet at all. On the drive back down from the mountains to Hobbs, there was a long period of quiet. I had the radio on. Trey said, my mom hasn't been around any man since dad died. I nodded. You like my mom? Yeah. I just met her, you know, Trey. But she's a sweet person. He looked hard at me. My dad got shot by some people he owed money to. It was about some drugs. That's what my mom told me. We had to move in case they tried to shoot us, too. They shot him in our backyard. God. It's a hell of a thing for a boy to go through, I said. I didn't really like my dad sometimes. But I miss him. I miss a lot of my friends, too. We had to leave home in the middle of the night on a bus, and I never even got to see them to say goodbye. Pretty strong kid telling me these things. That night after getting Janine to let me cook supper for everyone, a lamb curry with rice and vegetables probably could have simmered longer, but it was okay. We all curled up on the L-shaped couches to watch a movie. Trey and I horsed around and then the movie started and he put a pillow against me, up against my leg and laid back. I don't think he made it through more than 10 minutes of the movie before he fell asleep. You got a good boy here, I said to Val. He's going to be okay. Uh, Thanks for taking him up to Carlsbad today, Val said. Trey told me he had fun. He said you were okay. Ah, Believe me, Janine piped in. For Trey to say you're okay is a bit of a miracle. After the movie, I carried Trey to his bed and I laid him out, covered him up, said goodnight to Janine, and Val walked me out to the gate. I'd probably like to give you a kiss tonight, she said. Oh, yeah? You sure? No. Well, Val, I'm going to leave in the morning. I got to go. I got to get back to Canada and get something together. And before I go, and she put her lips against mine and Later, I put my lips on the scar on her left cheek. I couldn't help it. I kissed her a long time. God damn it all, Blues. I figure we'd just meet people in the wrong order, you know. But no, I think what makes meeting the good ones so good are the wounds we go through before we find them. I packed up my stuff that night at the motel put it all in the trunk. I looked in the mirror. Christ. You ain't gonna sleep a wank, partner. I said to myself, why bother trying? It was about 1.30 in the morning when I locked up and dropped the key off at the front desk, got the Valiant onto the highway and started driving west toward the mountains. I don't mind telling you that I had some large, slow tears 
as I drove and a kind of a soreness opening in my chest. I was a few miles outside of Dayton. There's a little town there. Just getting into the mountains when it started to rain. Not a downpour, just a drizzle. A little bit of rain, that's all. But welcome. When you've been through a long, dry spell, it's a blessing when the weather finally turns. Thanks for listening. For Better Days, I'm Doug Lang. Good night. I'll see you in two weeks. Please listen in and pick up on Ruth next week. Good night. Oh, if I should leave you. If I should leave you. Try to remember the good times. Warm days filled with sunshine. And just a little bit of rain. And just a little bit of rain. Fred Neal.